And all you do, get it, put it on, and it's locked. Simple as that. Is this Toras MagSafe cage for my new Samsung S23 Ultra the perfect case? Well, I think it is, and I'm going to explain why. When I ordered the phone, I needed to order a case so that I had the case when the phone arrived. You need to protect a phone like this. They're, they're not cheap. This is, the, um, this is the 512 model, so again, it's not the base model neither. I've had a lot of experience with cases, and I've found that the ones that I've ordered thinking that they're the best for the job, the best fit, tend to not be the best for the job. That's been an exception in this. I've ordered the perfect case. Previously, I've had ones that have had um, a, a ring on the back so that you can hold the phone, which admittedly was useful on the Fold 3, uh, but not on something like this. I didn't want a big bulky case. I also wanted a case where I could wirelessly charge and if you've got any metal on the back of your case, it makes wireless charging virtually impossible. One of the main reasons for ordering this, however, was the MagSafe ring on the back. We've got two iPhones in the house, iPhone 14s that are obviously MagSafe. So we've got a few MagSafe accessories. Uh, and I wanted to be able to use this in the future if required. And it's coming really useful. And it wasn't cheap. Um, I think when I bought it, it was £29 something. It's come down to £25 something on uh, promotion on Amazon at the moment. But I think the additional money was definitely worthwhile just for the MagSafe contact on the back. And it's so easy to hold. It's, it, it's grippy. It's not a hard plastic. So in your hand, you feel comfortable that it's not going to slip out. You can get really cheap cases for £5 or less. Um, but this one feels substantial and it's a really good fit on the phone as well. The buttons on the side work very well. And with it out of the case, you can feel how supportive and protective the sides are and the corners. Because that's where the damage is going to happen when you drop it. You've got a lip there and there so that you can place it face down and you're not going to damage the screen. You've also got a lip around the camera there so again you can place it down you're not going to damage the lenses it comes with three colors of buttons now i've changed this out already it, it comes with black um, i think you've got orange and you've got this lime green color now that's beneficial if you've got a number of these phones in the house obviously with a black case everything looks the same you can distinguish it you can distinguish the different phones by the color of the buttons that's a really good idea also, it's semi-translucent, which means that I can show off to a certain extent the graphite grey through the back of it. And if it was a brighter colour, you'd see it even better. And although you've got your protective raised edges at the top and bottom, they're not on the side, which means that with any Samsung phone, you can slide in from the side. If this was raised, it'd make it difficult, but you can pull in and bring things up there. Everything that needs to be protected is protected, and everything that needs to be accessible is accessible. So obviously, with this being a, an Ultra, you need to be able to access the pen and you can do that quite easily and pop it away again and this for me is the reason for getting it so the capability to use it with magsafe accessories was the was the deciding factor this is a, an anchor magsafe charging station this is the one that my son uses for his iphone 14 and all you do get it put it on and it's locked simple as that and it's very sturdy as well. If I just turn it around to the side, you see you've got to give it a real tug to take it off. So what that basically means is I can now start to purchase MagSafe accessories. If I just take it off again, you'll see it start to charge. There we go. And that's it. So yes, definitely the MagSafe is a, is a winner for me. When the first case arrived and I found it to be such a good case, I did get a clear case just to show off, as I said, the graphite colour of this, um, just to mix it up a bit. This is a, a sturdier rubber again, uh, not hard plastic, so you can tell just how well it fits that it's going to protect the phone. Again, raised top and bottom at the side door, nice easy access to the swipe technique. Right, so in summary, this case, absolutely fantastic in as much as Great hold in the hand, it's not going to slip, it feels grippy, 
it's soft to the touch. You know that the case isn't going to crack or smash when it hits the floor. Some harder cases do that. Because there's no accessory on the back, no metal accessory on the back, it means that the wireless charging is perfect. The piece de resistance is the, is the MagSafe circle. It's a really handy thing to have that because you can start using it with MagSafe accessories, like I said. Everything's accessible on it. Pen, no problem. The mics, all accessible. Charging port, perfect. It's protected down or on its back. The screen's going to be protected because of that, which is one of the main things. The Z Fold 3 case, I had a protective screen over the top of it as well, but I didn't want that with this next case. So this, this is superb. And the buttons, as I said, being able to differentiate between different cases or different phones, fantastic idea. So yes, that's it. A definite recommendation for me for this Toras case. The other case is nice as well that I've got the clear one, but having the MagSafe ring on it, just perfect.